I was wondering. It is just after 7 o'clock. Do it well. <laughs> Ken and Deb here. Good morning. And also welcome to our uh, Facebook. Where are our our on, live streaming people. Live streaming. i got to put that up in front of me. Streaming on Facebook with the mid-morning show coffee break. So thanks for joining us. What you're thankful for, you can put that on our Facebook page or Instagram page. But also, have you ever received marriage or parenting advice that really uh, made sense and you put it into practice, made a mm -hmm. difference? What is that? Our phone number is 800 221 nine three five six give us your best advice for being a good parent or a mm -hmm. good spouse right one eight hundred two two one nine three five six we're also going to talk with brian loritz coming up later this hour to talk about the book the dad difference and so we'll talk with him in about a half hour here's meredith andrews you're not alone on moody radio <clears throat> and we're not we've got facebook live people that's right we're not alone <laughs> that's right Good morning. So we are wanting you to respond this morning and tell us, um, fill in the blank. It was so special to me when my dad, what? We're going to talk about dads a little bit later on, like we said this hour with Brian Loritz. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can think of one way to answer that. Okay. One time my dad asked if he could go on a bike ride with me. And I was in high school at the time and yeah. he was really pretty ill. Hmm. And uh, I think he just wanted to spend, you know, an afternoon with me. So we went on we went on a ride together. But yeah. it's a sweet memory. Yeah. And it was he that initiated it because I was going to ride my bike up to the store to see if there were any sales. <laughs> really? <laughs> it started that young. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> it's a big box store. <laughs> <laughs> and he tagged along, so it was a good memory. <laughs> that is, that's good. How about you? It was so special to me when my dad, and then you fill in the blank, you can put it just below here, our live stream. Right. Kathleen, good morning. Appreciate you checking in with us this morning. Everybody else as well. Hey, check in with us. If you're watching, mm -hmm. let us know what, what you're watching, or what, not what you're watching, you're watching us, <laughs> where you're at <laughs> while you're watching us. <laughs> Hey, Kath you can also put what Kathy. you're thankful for. That's true. Yeah, if you, you know, it's Thankful Thursday, so if there's something you're seeing this morning, you're just like, thank you, God, for, you know, always, always put that there as well. Right. Morning, Kathy. Oh, we got two Kathys listening That's in. That's right. It's Kathy morning. It is. <laughs> so, yeah, when it comes to the, uh, the question, it was so special to me with my dad. <sighs> I'm trying to think. Um, I guess when my dad taught me how to drive, mm. um, yeah, mm -hmm. in Montana, we were able to get our learner's permit at like 14 and a half. Oh, wow. You were that time. young. And so I was able to drive mm -hmm. around with the learner's permit and stuff. Mm -hmm. But he also had this huge, um, he worked for a trucking company. Mm-hmm. And they had this huge lot where they parked all their trucks mm. and stuff. And so I was able to drive around that lot and practice a little bit, too. Neat. And so that was helpful. I remember that. Yeah. We had an old um, Fury, Plymouth Fury, mm. with the push-button transmission. Oh. Yeah, you mentioned that before. Well, we also yeah. had a, uh, an, also a Dodge mm. pickup as well mm. with a push-button okay. transmission. Okay, so you, men you mentioned the push-button transmission We had two vehicles before. with push-button transmissions. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, went like this and like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kathleen said my dad took me shopping for a formal when I was in college. Oh, neat. This was a very rare and very special. Mm. That's very cool. What a wonderful memory. That's cool. Shelly, listening in from Galesburg. Mm -hmm. Morning, Shelly. She said, thankful for my wonderful friends. And friends are a treasure. They are a mm -hmm. treasure in our life. They sure are. Mm -hmm. Definitely thankful for that as well. So as you're listening in this morning, oh, Annie said, I'm thankful for my family. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Meredith Andrews, you're not alone. I'm Moody Radio Quad Cities at 7.07. It is Ken and Deb here. Great to have you along with us this morning as we're 
Uh, talking about being thankful today on mm-hmm. this thankful Thursday. We've had a couple of people say that they're thankful on Facebook mm-hmm. already. We had Shelly said, thankful for my wonderful friends. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. It's wonderful and thankful for family. Yep. I also had that this morning. And so you can post that on our live streaming on Facebook this morning, or you can give us a call um, here at 800-221-9356. We're also asking for your favorite or your most meaningful advice that you've yes. got when it comes to parenting or, or your marriage. marriage relationship. Yeah. So have you had some great advice given to you? Like earlier this morning, I said um, that we had a couple that gave us advice about parenting when we were just brand new believers about when you discipline to take the child into a, you know by themselves to discipline them so that they didn't get singled out, get embarrassed, uh, but also, you had the opportunity to really impress upon them. You're doing this because you want to protect them. Right. They did something wrong. They need to have that behavior change, but that you love them, mm-hmm. you know, and, mm-hmm. and leave with that saying, I love you, care about you. Can I pray with you? You know, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. So that was real good advice. I think one of the <clears throat> the advice that I've used the most with both parenting and with my marriage is yeah. to keep short accounts. Oh, sure. And to, you know, to kind of let go of the past. Don't keep bringing up past problems. Right. But let go of it. Move forward. Sure. Forgive. Let go of it. Yeah. I mean, Give God does, God. right? Yeah. You know? But in our humanness, sure. if we see a pattern, we like to bring up oh, yeah. past things. Right. Like we like to go through history. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Shoof. <laughs> Get out the list. Can't, you know? rem- can't remember where my keys are, but I can remember this long list. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, so you can share those uh, 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 best advice mm-hmm. from either for marriage or parenting. Let us know. 800-221-9356. So we're asking kind of, it was so special when my dad did this, you know, and uh, maybe you can just put that down below the live streaming, but fathers are so important in the family, and a lot of times they don't get as much uh, attention as moms. You know, sometimes we focus on Mother's Day a little bit more and sort of thing, but fathers are vital to a family, and they can really make or break a family, and do. Well, statistics have shown that, you know, when when a dad is engaged and in the home um the i mean just the the amount of things that are positive in a family are so much increased yeah. not and it doesn't even mean necessarily that they're the best dad in the world mm-hmm. we're just saying that if they if they're there and they're trying you know mm-hmm. it makes a difference it does it does yeah so we're going to talk with Brian Loritz about this coming up we kind of had we had share last week so we didn't get to really focus on dads but right. we didn't didn't want to miss this opportunity to talk to Brian because, of course, he had a great day at dad in Crawford. Crawford, yeah. Um, but uh, he also, his dad was a normal person. Right. So And is. And is a normal person. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't gone anywhere <laughs> yet. <laughs> but, yeah. And so he has some things that his dad did with him that he just says, oh, are they, we're a great example to him to show sure. to yeah. him, you know, hey, you can say you're sorry. Right. And it's important to say when you've it messed is. up. And that was another thing that I learned. Mm-hmm. I think I can't remember. It might have been in a parenting class or something like that. But we got to go back on the air here. But yeah. Talk with Brian coming up here in about 20 minutes. About 10 minutes after 7 o'clock now. It is Ken and Deb here. Thanks so much for being along with us. And, uh, you know, we have um, got uh, some great resources that we have for you online. We'd love to have you check out. And, of course, uh, those resources are we've got different uh, audio streams that we've got. Mm -hmm. We've got um, Urban Praise and the Praise and Worship Channel, Proclaim, Majesty, many great audio streams online. We also have a stream that's in Spanish, Radio Moody. That's right. And so if you have friends that speak Spanish or maybe you speak Spanish and that's your heart language, you should try it out. You can find it right there on your Moody Radio app or you can search for it when you go to moodyradio.org slash quad cities. Just go to Ways to Listen and there'll be a listing of the different online stations, one of them. 
Radio Moody. Yeah, hope you'll check that out and pass it on. 7-Eleven with Matthew West. Here is the God Who Stays on Moody Radio Quad Cities. Good morning. Okay, do we want to expand the, qu the question to I am most like my dad when? No, when are you? no we don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you just did. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing about live streaming is we have no time to just go mm -hmm. underneath the table and say, is it time to do this? Where did Ken and Deb go? <laughs> They're hiding. <laughs> So has anyone ever said to you, hey, you know what? You're kind of like your dad in that way, mm -hmm. you know, or I, you know, I remember when your dad did something like that, when I see that in you or mm -hmm. whatever, um, I'm most like my dad when, or it was so special to me when my dad, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My dad taught me how to fish, you know, he didn't teach me everything, um, but he taught me the basics mm -hmm. on how to fish and still one of my loves and passions today. Love to do that, and of course, hunting too. So it's had a lifelong effect on me. Mm -hmm. So that was good. Yep. So you're most like your dad when you've done this, or maybe you have a characteristic like your dad, like you have his nose or his yeah. eyes or something like that. I have and my so... dad's nose. It arrives 10 minutes before I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, I look more like my mom, so I don't really take after my dad in my looks. But yeah, um, hey, Jeremy, how so about a little you? side note: Did you guys realize we missed Funny Friday last week because we were doing share? Oh no, no joke. I guess we'll. <laughs> I guess we'll have to do that tomorrow. <laughs> I think that'll be our first Funny Friday that'll be live streamed. Mm -hmm. I think so. so. I am looking forward to what type of. I mean, we haven't talked about like what subject matter or anything mm -hmm. but we'll i'm throw it out there so what do you think we should yeah. do so tomorrow on our funny friday if you were to have a funny friday what kind of theme would you like mm -hmm. joke wise you know it'll be dad jokes since we didn't do it last last oh, week yeah. oh yeah we oh, could do dad, dad jokes. jokes i like that idea we could do that yeah you know so that's just an idea we're throwing it out there what would your idea be so let us know. On put that it as right well. there. You can comment on live streaming or give us a call this morning too at 800 221 9356. If you have some advice for uh, parents, young parents, we'd love to hear that too. Your best advice. Maybe you've already been through the parenting thing and you'd like to give out some advice for parents. Sure. Give us a call at 800 221 9356. Remember a parenting class that we took when we were younger? And one of the things that they were talking about is don't be the threatening parent. Mm. You know, where you say, if you don't get down here, mm. I'm going to. And then you never follow through. Right. You know, because yeah. then the kid goes, <laughs> they're not going to do it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I was listening to the comedian Matt Folk, who yeah. we brought to the area ways back. And he was talking about how. He never actually knew how to count to three because <laughs> his mom was like, I'm going to count to three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. That's right. Man, I've done that. I feel so guilty. <laughs> Here's Matthew West with The God Who Stays. On Moody Radio Quad Cities, it is Ken and Deb also live streaming on Facebook as well this morning with our mid-morning show, Coffee Break. And so we're talking about the best parenting advice you've ever received or the best um, marriage advice you've ever received. We were just talking kind of on Facebook about uh, the, the advice I got one time in a marriage or, a, excuse me, a parenting class. And it was, don't be the threatening mm -hmm. parent. You know, where you go, oh, if you don't get down here, I'm going to, you know, and then nothing ever happens, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> because, I mean, the mm -hmm. kids are smart. Yes, they, they, they know. They will figure that out. They, they know. You know, and so also, okay, Bobby, start putting your toys away. We got to leave. But then you start mm -hmm. talking and you talk for another 10 minutes. Right. You know, and then Bobby's, <laughs> for the first two or three times, Bobby's going, I'm continuing to play because mm -hmm. mom's not going to do this for another two, five, 10 minutes or so. You know, I, uh, I was a Monopoly parent. I kept giving out chance cards. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
one more chance. <laughs> one more chance to get it right. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so anyway, what, what is the best parenting or marriage advice you've ever received? Or it's Thankful Thursday. You can let us know what you're thankful for today. You can do that on our Facebook page. Or you can give us a call or text us with that advice, 800-221-9356. Hey, Phyllis, I'm thankful for my faithful friend, Phyllis. Thank you. And Phyllis, one day, one (laughs) day, we are going to meet. I'm hearing so much about you. I've talked to you. We haven't met yet. And so we got to do that. Mm -hmm. At least Uh, you can see what you look like now. Yeah. Before she well, had. Well, maybe she won't want to meet me then. <laughs> <laughs> She'll go. Never mind. <laughs> hey, Lori said. She'll give you one more. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> we had to start our own the grace card. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Lori said, "My father taught me forgiveness." Hmm. And yes, I do look like him. <laughs> Aww, Thanks, Lori. That's neat. Appreciate you sharing that with us this morning. I got a card one time, and this doesn't have to do with dads, but my sister got me a card one time where you opened up here's here's to another birthday and he opened it up and said another year to look more and more like mom or whatever you know like <laughs> that idea and that was so true because i do look like my mom so it was yeah. a very appropriate card <laughs> yeah, that's but. funny oh there used to be a great song out that it was about i want to be just like you kind yeah. of a dad right you know Mm-hmm. And that was always such a tear-jerking song when oh, you yeah. think about it because, you know, there are some really good dads where we just look up to them so much and we want to be like them. Yeah. And if you've had that kind of dad, what a treasure. I mean, what, yes. a, what a wonderful gift that yeah. you had. Now, that same group also had a song out about moms, too. And I don't know if you remember it, hmm. but it was called Midnight Oil. Oh. She always used to burn the oh, midnight oil. Yeah. In prayer. In prayer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was also mm-hmm. an appropriate song, too. What a great song. Mm-hmm. Well, here's another. Shelly said, uh, thankful for my wonderful friends. And Annie, thankful for my family and for my mom. And, you know, we're talking about families and kind of your best advice for parenting. for Right. Um, best advice for your marriage. Um, those are some things we yeah. want to learn from each other today. And Dave suggested animal jokes. Animal, oh, okay, he did. We haven't had animal jokes before, I don't think. That'd be mm-hmm. kind of fun. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, you're utterly amazing with that. <laughs> we might move that to another date. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> we have way too much fun here. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Jerry said, praying for a nice day Saturday for our graduation party. Ah, oh, neat. Daughter going off to Moody. Oh, to be that's a linguist. Ex- oh, that Lord. is so exciting. Awesome, Jerry. That is really neat. You have to keep us posted on how she's doing there. Mm-hmm. So thankful that Moody's opening up in the fall, and yes. students are going to be going back to campus. And yeah, um, you know, it's been interesting how they've told us that they're going to incorporate, you know, online and live mm-hmm. stuff together mm-hmm. more. Right. Yeah, you know, it's a great this. idea. Yeah. Seven twenty-one. Ken and Deb here. Well, last week at this time, we were right in the middle of share, mm-hmm. and we just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, how you uh, came through and 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 gave for us uh, and, and prayed for us. Yes, uh, but also shared those testimonies as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we just really appreciate everything that the Lord has done through this station and how He's using you to be a partner with us in ministry. Yeah, and we met our goal station-wise here in the Quad Cities, but right. not overall right. in the Moody Radio Network. So if you still want to give and support programs like Chris Fabry Live and Equipped with Chris Brooks and In the Market with Jana Parshall, right. you can get involved by just calling the number that we gave out last week, which is still workable. Yeah. 800-600-9624, 800-600-9624, or you can give online at moodyradio.org slash Quad Cities. It is 721 with Phil Wickham with Living Hope on Moody Radio Quad Cities. Good morning. You know, speaking of Moody, right before we yeah. went back on the air, 
uh, we actually got an email from the Moody Provost, uh, Dr. Perry, yesterday talking oh, yeah, about that's right. Winfred Neely. Who we've been, had on the show before. Mm-hmm. Yes, and is a great guest for you guys. And yeah. has some great books. He's actually been named vice president and dean of the Moody Theological Seminary. Wow. That is so exciting. We're so happy for him. Yeah. What such a, a great pass- guy. Yeah, such oh, a passion to teach preachers, you know, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. just really, really a neat heart. So mm-hmm. uh, good for him. He'd be a teacher I'd want to sit under because yep. he seems like really patient, like a really patient, encouraging person. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I would just love to. And wise, so wise. Sure. Every time he opens up your mouth, you just want to yes. take it in. Well, I mean, there's so many. Mm-hmm. There on campus, right. that are like that. I mean, Dr. Michael Redelnik, and you've got Winfred Neely, Jim you've Coakley, got Jim Coakley, which who we're going to have on yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, another one like that. Mm-hmm. And so, so many great professors mm-hmm. there at Moody. And Phyllis even said, Moody's a good school, changed my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lori, I'm thankful for Deb's jokes <laughs> and the way she laughs at them. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to. <laughs> Might as well be me. Oh dear. <laughs> See, got her another time on it. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, a friend who will remain unnamed said that I would be the laugh track for her on the road <laughs> show <laughs> when she takes her show on the road. That's great. Uh, yeah. So tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have uh, Funny Friday mm-hmm. on the show, so make sure that you're here. Not quite sure yet. We might do dad jokes. Mm-hmm. We'll see, just because we weren't able to do that last week, but we'll see. We could we'll do decide. dad animal jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Did dad ever have an animal joke? <laughs> Tell that. <laughs> Two deer across the road, and no, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so we'll be uh, tomorrow morning here for our mid-morning show coffee break doing Funny Friday. Join us for that. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching this morning.